Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is Jim and Crystal with Serpentine Dream. I uh, just figured I'd go over some of my breeding plans for the 2017 season. Um, we do a lot of research, um, you know, even through this year. We'll be researching for next year and what kind of plans we want to do with, with stuff we produced last year, picked up from last year. Uh, and then once we get it all sorted out, we generally put it all in an Excel sheet. Um, that way we can keep that information for, for years to come um, on what we produce, what we wanted to produce. Uh, you know, what was hashed out of every egg, how many eggs made it, successes, failures, slugs, whatever. Uh, all the information goes into our Excel sheet. But during our breeding season, once you figure out what we want to pair and what we want to make, um, then we transfer it to this whiteboard. Um, and then it's just kind of a visual for us throughout the breeding season. And then as things progress, we transfer that information back into our Excel sheet. Um, and on the, the way I have it set up is males are all in blue at the top. Uh, of each column and then the females are in red um, and then the dates off to the side will be of course lockup dates um, you see some males have been really busy other ones are just kind of starting um, but the ones that are just starting are they're all first year males so I kind of expect them to start start slow and also have backup plans if if they don't get it together this season so uh, first one I'll talk about is the uh, Achilles top left there He's a Mojave Spider, and he is paired up with uh, Juno, who is a special. Um, Sim, which is a uh, uh, Russo headless cystic, and then Sif, who's a Calico. Uh, as if you can't tell, they're all named after gods and goddesses. Um, just makes it easy to name them that way. So first we'll do is uh, kind of show you some of the first few, few snakes and uh, kind of what we're trying to get from each pairing. Uh, it's my male Mojave Spider. Uh, he bred for me last year, and uh, he's of course going to be hooking up with the next few girls we show you. So, without any further ado, we'll go ahead and uh, show you the first girl and kind of what we're wanting to make and what we're wanting to produce. And this is the special female. She's weighing in right around 2,500 grams, uh, so she's a really good size. Uh, and of course, what we want to get from her um, are crystal and crystal spiders, and that's our goal for this pairing. What I'm going to do throughout this video is I'll, I'll put some pictures in that will show, you know, what we're hoping to create. Uh, of course, I don't have those snakes yet. That's why I want to make them. Um, so the pictures don't belong to me. Uh, they're going to be from various websites, World of Ball Pythons, you know, where I can get a good image from. Um, so I don't want to take credit for any of those photos, uh, but I will throw some up for everyone to look at. And this is our Russo Hetless Cystic. And, um, of course, with her... With the Mojave Spider, we're going to try to go for some blue eyeless cystics. Uh, later on, try to do that pairing into the white diamond. Um, so here she is. This will be her first year breeding. Um, she's perfect weight. So I'm hoping everything goes well there. I think they've locked up about three times so far. And uh, hopefully she gives us a nice viable clutch this season. And this is the Calico Girl. Of course, we're just going for the three gene calico Mojave spider, and same with her. She's a she's a good weight, ready to go. Uh, also, first year for her, so uh, we're hoping she goes this season and gives us a wonderful clutch of eggs. And hopefully, we hit the odds. Uh, of course, with all the clutches, that's what we're hoping. All right. All right. The next set here is Dewey, the uh, the second male I have. Uh, he's Spectre, and then of course he's going with Andromeda and Athena, which are Sparks and Yellow Belly. So going for a lot of the Super Stripe uh, complexes here with this pairing. Um, and he's first year, so he's just starting to get the hang of it. He's only locked up once. So we'll go ahead and take a look at them and, and check them out. And this is Dewey, our Spectre male. Uh, like I just showed you, he's got two girls he's going he's gonna to pair up with this season. Uh, first time breeder for him as well, so we'll uh, we'll see how he does. He's just starting to get the hang of it, and uh, we'll move on to the girls, and you can take a look at them. And this here's our Spark Girl Andromeda. Of course, like I said earlier, we're trying to go with the uh, Super Stripe Complex. So hopefully she produces. Um, she's borderline, so I'm hoping she goes this year. Her weight's there, her age is there, so hopefully everything goes as planned. 
and uh, we get some awesome super stripes out of her. And this is the yellow belly girl, Athena. And really hoping she goes too. Her weight's there. Everything should be good. Um, like I said, she uh, she's also first year, so hoping she'll uh, hoping she'll take and go this year. I know some stuff probably won't. You know, I got a lot of first year girls and a few first year males, so we'll see what happens this season. I uh, just hope everything hatches out and it's healthy, and we'll take it from there. Okay, and our next group is with Apollo for the male. He's a banana cinnamon, and he's paired up to five females. There's a Carrie's, a black pastel, Frigg, an inchy spider, uh, Artemis, who's a chocolate cinnamon, our normal girl, Rennie, and Electra, who's a genetic stripe. Now, Electra's borderline. She may not go this year. She, she weighs just enough that we're going to give it a try. Um, you can see he's paired up with three out of the five so far. Here's Apollo, uh, the banana cinnamon. He bred for us last year, did a great job. He's started off pairing with three out of the five females for this year. Um, and hopefully he'll finish off with the other two soon. Okay, and here's our black pastel female. Um, through her, we're hoping to breed um, eight balls and some different banana combos. She's coming up here to check us out. Uh, she's a beautiful female, plenty large enough. Uh, this will be her first season, and we're looking forward to see what she can make for us. Okay, this is Frigg, our inchy spider. Um, this is her first season. She and Apollo have locked up twice so far this season. Um, through her, we're hoping, of course, to hit the four gener, um, but really any combos will be nice. This is Artemis, our chocolate cinnamon female. Um, it'll be her first year breeding. Uh, she and Apollo have not locked up yet, uh, but we're still hopeful. Right now she's in shed, so she's not looking her best, as you can tell. Um, through her, we're hoping to get uh, Super Cinnamon or uh, Super Cinnamon Bananas and look forward to seeing what she can make for us. This is Rennie, our normal female. Um, we tried breeding her last year, but she didn't take, so we're giving it another go this year. Um, she and Apollo have locked up once and out of the pairing we're hoping to get some more banana cinnamons um, now she's kind of a slow eater so she's got a smaller weight to her uh, than some of the other females this is Electra, our genetic stripe female um, through her pairing with Apollo we're hoping to get Banana Cinnamon's Genetic Stripe, uh, with the ultimate goal of, of course, a Banana Cinnamon Genetic Stripe at some point in the future. Now, they have not locked yet this year. Um, we're still hopeful, but she is kind of on the smaller side, so uh, she's borderline. Uh, we'll see what happens with that as the season progresses. This is Morgan, our vanilla female. Uh, out of the pairing, we're hoping to get vanilla cream yellow bellies. Um, so far, they've locked up three times. So, everything's looking good. As you can see, she's giving me the stare down. Oh. This is Danu. She's a yellow belly. Uh, out of this pairing, we're hoping to get some fire ivories. Um, she's locked up with our male twice so far this year, so hoping, uh, hoping to hit the odds on this one. 
All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, this is going to be a two-part video. Um, if we try to do all the males at one time with the females, they just take too long. So this is the first part. Um, the second part we'll put up here in about another week or so. And uh, this is just kind of a preview of, of what's to come. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And like I said, here in the next week or so, I'll have the uh, second video up. Thanks.